a denotified tribe of the Northwest India, the Parthis have been leading a nomadic life since centuries. When the forests were dense and the animals were in abundance, the Parthis used to protect the harvest from the wild beasts. And they used to hunt wild animals, especially cheetah and black buck, for the elite Mughal emperors. But in the modern era of vanishing forest and wild Owing to their involvement in unrestrained poaching activity and illegal hunting war, throughout the central India of Maharashtra and Madhya Pradesh, the Parthis have been branded an unwanted element of the society. A breed of excellent hunters, they had the skills to hunt any and every wild animal. And hence, soon they became the biggest threat to the extincting species. Notified tribes were branded criminals under British law after they rebelled against the British Raj. And even though independent India has repealed the Criminal Tribes Act in 1949, officially removing the criminal level, these parties still face discrimination. Many known attacks against these tribes occur every now and then. Their houses get burned and they get arrested on false charges. had been living in abject penury, entangled in their own blind beliefs. Although traditionally a nomadic tribe, they have been living in temporary settlements, hiding from the society. Sans any identity, dignity or stable livelihood option, they have been arrested on the slightest pretext, accused of random crime. Their women routinely molested and their children have been given an inconsistent and dark future. A storehouse of indigenous knowledge, these Pardis know a lot about utility of medicinal plants and oils extracted from the fats of the animals and hence can engage in many alternate sources of livelihood. In that regard, in the remote district of Suhakpur of Madhya Pradesh, an UNDP CEE initiative project run by Dalit Sun has been doing an excellent work since the year 1992. This CEE initiative has been working ever since to bring the 105 party community families to the mainstream by detracting them from illegal poaching activities and engaging them in constructive activities of honey harvesting, poultry rearing running catering and rational stores, conducting adventure sports activities. These projects have given a ray of hope to the Pardis. Under the development activities through conduction of Nukkar Nagar, the women have been made aware of the protection of maternal health and they have been engaged in proper sanitation activities. The Parthis have been engaged in many capacity building training programs and they have been brought to interaction with the local police and administrative body on periodic basis to remove the fear of their society. They have been engaged in proper livelihood generating activities under the project and their children have been exposed to institutional care of educational institutions. Movies promoting environmental awareness have been telecasted and conservation messages Involving the social issues revolving around the interest of these four lone people have been sent through this. The Lidson has not only been fighting for their right to get a caste certificate, it has made these people given the right to vote. And a 70 year old woman voting for the first time in her life is one of the major achievements under this. have been one of the most pathetic examples of violation of human rights and the CEE project run in this area has been working for the provision of opportunity of employment to these people 
Not only that, but it has been fighting a lone battle for their dignity and basic human rights. And it has still a lot of sunshine to see.